Mr. 9000 in Hotel Hideaway. So for this episode, it starts with Lonnie, Sea Salt, and Doomer in L.A. Hey, you know, I didn't think we wouldn't get caught in that pool. Yeah, they really need a security guard for the back. Hey, uh, where do you free think you're going? We're just heading back to our place. Nothing special for you. You know you in green jacket territory. You need to pay a toll to proceed. Look, man, we don't want any trouble, all right? Just walk away and everything will be cool. Are you asking for a death wish? No, dude, I just want you to go bother somebody else. Hey, fuck face. <laughs> Holy motherfuck. What? Ah, shit. What the fuck's name was that about, Doomer? He was going to rob us. Ah, oh, shit, I think I see more of them coming this way. We gotta get off L.A. <laughs> Holy motherfuck. What did that guy say they were again? Green jackets? Yeah, I think so. Come on, we gotta take a plane and get back to Dank City. No, because then they'll fly with us on the plane, and then they'll follow where we are. And then they'll follow us where we are. We can't have the Green Jackets infiltrate our houses. Yeah, he's right. We gotta find a place to hide. Mm, what the? Oh, huh, well, look at that. Look at what? Some fox boy named Artie just texted me and said that there's this hotel we should hide at. Come on, let's go. Meanwhile, outside the hotel. Okay, I think this is the hotel. Come on, let's go in and see Artie, alright? Uh, hi, um, we're here for Artie? I'm Artie. I catfished you. What? Dude, we came all the way over here because we were on the run from some gain. Is this some kind of trick? Is Artie here or not? No, no, he's not here. I'm Artie. I catfished you. Okay, well, we're gonna find another place to hide at. No way, come back. I, I need you guys' help with something. It's very important that I, it's a very important job, but I can't do this on my own. Fine. Come on. Alright, so, uh, thank you for letting us in your hotel, Artie, or... I'm sorry, what's your name? Chandler. Uh, okay, Chandler. Uh, can you tell us why you contacted us and why you catfished us? Okay, listen. The reason why I contacted you, Free, and why I catfished you, Free, is because I've seen your videos. You only help non-humans. What is he talking about? Okay, well, listen, Chandler. You could have contacted us initially, but you totally lied about your species. Yeah, but listen, you guys. Look, there was something weird going on in my hotel, and... If I knew that, if anyone would get the job done, it would be you, Bree. That and your clone siblings. Okay, well, if we're gonna help you, then you need to give us a room to hide at so that that game would get off our asses. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll get you, Bree, a room. It's right over here. And if you look outside right there, you can see an airfield next to the hotel. Why do I feel like this is some kind of gig I've been in before? Don't worry about that, sea salt. Look, we got ourselves a room. We can hide ourselves from the green jackets. And when the green jackets stop looking for us, we'll take the plane and we'll be back to Dank City. Hey, uh, I'll meet you guys in the room, okay? I gotta go check something. Let me see something about this plane outside. What the? Huh? Uh, well, uh, hello? Uh, oh, <laughs> hello. What happened to you? Why are you leaking? Oh, I gotta do a bit of something on the 
first class of that plane there. It's pretty wild there. <laughs> well, see ya. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Lottie, sea salt. What, Doomer? What is it? Dude, I just saw a boy get out from the plane. Huh? What boy? Do you mean Artie? What? No, there was some fanboy getting out of the plane with his ass leaking. Dude, Artie's not real. I think he got into some morgy on the first class there. Dude, stop. We're hiding from a gang. This isn't no airborne porno. What? Hold on, I think that's the room service. Hey, uh, y'all need anything? Oh, why, hello, stud. Hey, I don't want no zebra serving me, I Get the fuck up out of here! Oh, my bad, my apologies. Yeah! Fire him! Huh? What the... Oh, what? what the fuck? Uh, uh... Lonnie, something grab that zebra! What? Lonnie, something grab one of the home room service! What, you mean that zebra? I guess Chandler must have fired him. What? No, I'm saying there's something suspicious going on in this hotel. And that femboy from first class, how is he leaking so much? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird for a femboy from first class leaking out of its ass so much, but dude, it's a luxurious place. There's probably a whole lot of things like that happening here. Dude, I think there's something in the first class that we don't know about. Okay, look. Look. I'm gonna be going to Chandler's office. You could come with me if you want. Wait, Lonnie. Chandler? Get the fuck out! What did he say? I'm just joking. Come on in. You're lucky I didn't have my pants down in here. You sluts would probably like that. Ugh. Okay, look, Chandler, we're gonna be staying over at your hotel for a few days so that we could get those green jacket guys away from us. And once we know that the green jackets are not looking for us anymore, well, we'll take your plane and we'll be heading back to Dank City. Oh, you bet. <laughs> You're lucky to stay if you want to. Hey, you better, not, you better not be walking into my office at night. I might have a twink over. <sighs> Dude... Look, I'm not trying to start any problems with you. All I'm saying is that we're hiding from a gang, and we're staying at your hotel so we could... Hey, dude. Nah, I'm not doing anything much. What about you? Nah, I might have some cute femboy over. I don't know. You know what? This is stupid. Come on, you guys. Dude, what was all that about? Dude, you know what this is about. Ever since we came to that hotel, this guy's been nothing but a pain in our asses. He disrespected his employees. He disrespected me. I'm starting to think that this guy is not having any trouble in his hotel at all. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, would you look at that now? He's smashing stuff in his office and screaming. Oh, wait, please, you just gotta give me more time, please. Uh, uh. You know what? I think I'm gonna say something to him. Chandler, listen up. I have had it with your misbehavior. You have no respect for me. You have no respect for my friends. And the words you use to refer to bottoms disgust me. If this happens again, I will come back into the office and throw you out the damn window. Chandler? <laughs> Dude can't even look at me right now. Wimp. Come on. Wait, I need to check something again. Okay, fine. Well, you know where to find us. Okay, I wonder if that femboy is still there. Nope. Guess he's gone. Yeah. <gasps> what the? <sighs> Who are you? You gotta help me. What? Let me in the hotel. It cream pied me. It plowed my brother. What did? 
<laughs> Lonnie, sea salt. <laughs> Lonnie, sea salt. I just saw another guy come out from the first class of that plane. Dude, why do you keep bringing up the first class of that plane? Dude, I think there's something in the plane. I don't think we should get out from there. Look, Doomer, I had a long day driving here, and I'm not going to have another time driving back to Dank City. And I'm pretty sure Chandler came to his senses already. I hope I wasn't too harsh on him. What? Dude, Lonnie, you're not listening to me. There is something in that plane, right outside the hotel, and it is literally fucking everyone it sees. And I just saw another boy out there, and I think that boy from earlier must have been his brother. Yeah, you're right. I had to be harsh Sean Chandler because he was being disrespectful. <laughs> I bet he's super embarrassed by now. Look, it's getting late. Let's just go to sleep and we'll get out from the plane in the morning. What? Fine, whatever. When they fell asleep. I guess everyone's... I guess everyone's gone. I'm alone. I think that must be that E-boy's room. What? There's two of them? Uh, must breed. <laughs> Three AM Come on, dude. See so knock that off. I do not want to fuck right now. Huh? What? Wait a damn minute. What the What are you doing? I think there's something on my foot. What? I think there's something down there. What is that? What? What the? Lonnie? Say salt! Oh shit! Doomer! Doomer, wake up! Doomer! Doomer, get up! Get up! What? What is it? Doomer, you were right. Something's going on in this hotel. It's got Lonnie! What? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Holy shit, there he is! <laughs> Holy shit, dude, what the hell is that thing? Is that a werewolf? <laughs> Lonnie, hold on! <laughs> dude, run! <laughs> He's stuck, let's go! Uh, 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 oh, sheesh. Uh, uh, oh, man. What in fuck's name was that? What did it look like? I, I don't know. The, the, he was huge. Do you think that thing took Artie? Dude, I told you, Artie is not... Dude, whatever. Let's just go home. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, shit, it got out. What? Wait a minute. Is that thing going into the plane? We gotta go. Come on, let's go in the car. Okay, wait. So you don't want to go kill it? Do you want to go in there? Fine, whatever. Let's just go. Yeah, come on, you guys. <sighs> Meanwhile, I dang city. Oh, sheesh, that was close. Yeah, well, there's still gonna be some werewolves around dang city, you know. Green jackets? Let's hope not. Well... I'm going to go back to sleep. So exhausted from all that running. Well, good night. Wait, can I sleep with you? I don't feel like walking home. Not after what happened. Fine, get over here. All right. <laughs>